What's up guys, it is Jay Beeps here and welcome to this episode of the Wizards Classic Fantasy Draft. Huge decision, because somehow I've lucked out for the second time in a row. First overall pick. So obviously, we've got choices. We've got LeBron, who's I'm probably going to end up taking. We also have... Miami Heat LeBron, who I could also end up taking. We have a good young Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, the young LeBron, Curry, Durant, Kawhi, Shaq, another Durant, another Curry, Steve Nash, Dwayne Wade. But let's be honest, it's going to be a LeBron. I think just looking between these two, It's going to be 99 overall. LeBron James with the first overall pick. Alright, let's see. Alright, so three LeBrons in a row. How many LeBrons are going to go in the top 10? Ah, uh, only three. Alright, well that is a... That's quite the good revelation. Because now it's going to be pretty easy to build a team around LeBron. Because what we're going to need, we're going to need a Marcus Camby, who's going to be down low to dominate the paint and catch some boards from all the shooters that we're going to have on the team. Like, um, we'll go Manu Ginobili. We'll go Ginobili. Like Ginobili. Then we get a good, we get a good scoring point guard, we get a good scoring power forward, and we have we have a stacked team. All right, George Hill looks like the choice. I don't want to go for the older Penny Hardaway because the mid range and the perimeter D. Yeah, George Hill, welcome to the team. All right, power forward. Kenyon Martin, eh. Steve Novak, he played with the Wolves. No, he's probably here from the Knicks team. Um, Shane Battier, I think that's how you say his name. Nene. Taj Gibson. I might go Taj, you know. Cause he's got he's good inside and mid range, not not good from the three, but he's got good rebounding. Good, yeah. We'll get Taj Gibson. So we have our starting five now, which is, I think, absolutely stacked. So now we just got to keep building it around. Around the guards. Um, don't want to go Mario. Um, might go Del Del Yeah, because I'm a mean, Cavs fan. When he was there that first time, it was so nice. Oh, good. Damon Jones played with LeBron. Yeah, I'm gonna get Jones. Because I mean, in all honesty, we need we need scorers at the guard positions. Barbosa. Looks like a pretty good pick. Yeah, I'll take Barbosa. So now... Probably take a center. PJ Brown, the old Dikembe. I'm gonna take PJ Brown. Alright, um... I mean, I, yeah, let's go power forward. Because even though LeBron could play that power forward position, I just don't think he'll end up actually playing it. Because, obviously, we have different people. Scott Breen's a good, a good choice. Very intriguing. But at the same time, ooh. Oh. It's tough. I think I'm going to go for Udonis. 
just because of his defensive ability. Because again, at power forward, I don't exactly know how much I'm gonna need my power forward to hit to knit, lock, hit knit, hit. Um, I can't talk. Hit knockdown threes. I just don't think that's going to be something that I actually need. And from our backup small forward. Darvin Ham could be a good choice. Yeah, I'll take Darvin Ham. All right, so let's get let's get another point guard. Derek Fisher. I'm gonna take Derek Fisher, just because of the uh, the namesake. All right, let's go. Sure, we got we got plenty of point guards. Let's get our shooting guard. Cameron Reynolds. No, oh, he's been like a free agent. Um, Levi Randolph is a fake player. Matt Mooney is a he's on the Cavs. Looks like I'm gonna be taking David Wesley. I mean, he's a good all-around scorer. Um, should I take North Center? Yeah, I'll take I'll take North Center. So we got Muhammad Verjao, Will Magne, Irvin Johnson. I've taken him before, so I don't, I'm not necessarily keen on taking him. Cause he's, he's not the best of rebounders. You know, I'll take Verjao. He played he played with the Cavs. He played with LeBron. One of his close friends, so why not? We'll take him. Alright, now we just go for whoever's got the best three point shooting. And is hopefully one of those older players. Okay, or not, let's just go by overall then. Well, I'll take Irvin Johnson. I said I wasn't going to, but looks like it, I mean, it came down to him, taking him, so. Alright, so let's take a look at that roster. Let's take a look at this roster. Boom, LeBron. Marcus can be down low. Then we got Ginobili, just to hit shots. We got George Hill to be a good point guard. Taj Gibson, do some work down below, also would be a good scoring option. Barbosa to score. Damon Jones to score, PJ Brown to get some boards, Haslam to score and get boards, Dirk Fisher to score, Ham to score. So yeah, I think this is a a very good team built around LeBron and Camby, even Ginobili too. So I mean, with LeBron, I mean he he can do it all really except shoot the three. And if LeBron does shoot the three. Or if he takes a lot of shots, we need someone down low who's going to get those rebounds and play some good down low defense. And then we need someone to kick it out to for a nice bucket in Manu Ginobili. Then we need, I mean, if LeBron's be having a tough day, we need someone to just go out and score for him. And always, it, it doesn't hurt to have a, a third or fourth scoring option. So yeah, I think this is a very well-built team. Next episode, I will figure out the game plan, figure out the lineups and play the first game of the season so you guys should hit that subscribe button so you can see that and it is jbeebs signing off